local weather authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Today's the final day of Severe Weather Awareness Week. The National Weather Service focusing on lightning. The number one question I always get is how does heat lightning form? It doesn't actually. So here's the kind of thing that's cool about this. Lightning is generated all by electricity, not by heat. But as a kid, I remember calling it heat lightning. Basically, what you're doing is you're looking at a storm that's thousands of feet tall and that storm is in the distance. So you say, OK, I can see the lightning, but I can't hear the thunder while well, the speed of light is so much faster than the speed of sound. So that's why you can't necessarily hear it. The storm just too far away. No storms out there right now had plenty of rain this morning that has since moved out. Dry air taking over and that dry air riding in on a gusty wind. So you see that low pressure off toward the right hand side of the screen. That's our storm system. High pressure coming into control of our weather. The air in between the two kind of getting pinched a little bit. So what that does is it tightens up the uh, what's called a pressure gradient and that allows the wind to really start gusting in. We felt that pretty much all day today. We're going to continue to feel it as we go through the rest of the afternoon. The green that's your wind speed anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour coming in out of the northeast. Your wind gusts anywhere from about 20 to perhaps 30 miles per hour through about 6 p.m. The wind does start calm down a little bit heading into the overnight. That will allow us to cool down. Not going to feel very much like spring tomorrow, even though it starts off tomorrow morning. More on that in just a little bit. But with Ville Pulaski, Blacksburg waking up to 27, Covington and Bedford starting out our Saturday morning at 31 degrees. So yes, even though tomorrow is the first official day of spring, it's going to have a little bit of a wintry feel, at least first thing. Spring will have officially sprung at 537 tomorrow morning when the sun's rays are directly over the equator, hence the name the equinox. So our first weekend of spring not looking too bad. We'll see plenty of sunshine 12 hours and nine minutes of it tomorrow with temperatures in the low to mid 50s in the NRV. The rest of us middle top are 50, so pretty comfortable. Little breezy at times as well. We'll build upon that heading into Sunday afternoon with high temperatures area wide in all five of our zones in the upper 50s and the lower 60s. High pressure is going to maintain control of our weather through the weekend. That's why we see all that sunshine, but here's what happens. It actually gets sandwiched in between two storm systems, so I do think we'll stay dry for the most part through Tuesday. We'll just watch this storm system toward the west. Eventually, that'll take control of our weather and give us the better chance for rain heading into Wednesday, Thursday, perhaps Friday of next week. And if we can get enough instability, thunderstorm juice, well, we could actually see some storms by the later part of next week. All the more reason to enjoy this weekend, guys. Temperatures today in the lower 50s for most of the area. Look at all that sunshine Saturday and Sunday. You'll be in the middle 50s tomorrow afternoon. Some lower 60s across the board by Sunday. Keep in mind each morning we're going to start out pretty chilly. Sets your quintessential spring weather, right? You start out with the jacket and then you end up with the T-shirt by the afternoon, at least by Sunday afternoon. We'll be a little warmer by Monday again, Monday and most of Tuesday. Things do look to be dry with that area of high pressure uh, standing firm for the most part, but then we start to get a little bit of that moisture coming in. So Wednesday could see some showers around the area Thursday as well with temperatures in the 60s. Right now looks like just plain old rain, but could eventually incorporate some thunderstorms into the forecast as we head to the later part of next week. Notice even nighttime lows will be in the upper 40s and lower 50s. If anything, may actually help the trees start to bloom a little bit more. They've been a little late doing that.